Hi everybody, I'm Anne. Welcome to my studio. It's a bit strange, isn't it, that uh, we're meeting online because normally we'd be running the groups. We've been running groups at East Bentley and at Seaford and we were about to start one in Cranbourne. But look, we're in strange times and, you know, as creators and artists, we're a very resourceful bunch and so we're going to try and do some of this stuff online. Um, those of you that have been in the groups, uh, we kind of expected this was going to happen and, and we started to think about ways that you can continue to be a creative and be part of a creative community whilst this um, pandemic is, is restricting our movements. So what I thought is that uh, each week I'd set a little project that you can do at home and I'm hoping that you will you know, do it in your own way with whatever resources that you've got and then post up some pictures on our Facebook page so that we can share with each other and we can, you know, just have a bit of fun, you know, and, and uh, support each other, give each other encouragement, you know, make suggestions where that might be asked for and, and let's, just, um, let's just make the most of what, what we've got with us at the moment. So I've pasted a, um, a poster, I should say, some suggestions about some materials that you might have. Some of you don't have very much. We can always do whatever project that I'm going to set for you with, uh, you know, with a grey lead if you can. Or I saw an artist the other day, I was out at some studios at uh, Castle Main and I saw an, uh, the work of an artist who he, he'd done everything just in, in mud that he'd found uh, when he'd been travelling around Australia. So, Remember to, um, to draw on that resourcefulness that I know that you all have and uh, let's just have some nice times together. So the first project I'm going to show you is um, some artworks that I collected while I was in Nepal and these are very naive pictures that, that tell stories. They tell the stories of the village life and, and uh, what goes on there and um, I've put up a few pictures and I, I'm just going to ask you to take a little bit of time and just see if you can figure out what some of the activities are because when I've seen these, uh, when I've worked in Nepal, the, the Nepalese can look at these and they know very clearly what's going on in those villages and they can tell me, like say from this picture, the step by step of things that are going on. But we're not going to focus so much on the story at the moment. We're going to do this project over a few weeks. But the first thing I want you to have a look at is, is the border. And I love these pictures because, and um, the images that you often see coming out of India and Nepal, because they've got a really strong sense of design. And they're a really good place to start. So each of them have got a, um, this little border that's going around the side. And they're, they're usually uh, about a pattern, so a pattern is repeating itself. So you can see here we've got the, um, the corner pieces and then we've got this purple kind of leaf thing that goes around the side. This one, this little circles with some lines on it. You know, they've got the blue and then they've got the pink here, so the, just this repetitive pattern. These are very simple. Um, Anyone could do that. This one's a little more complex. And this is a, um, a picture that I love. This, is, this comes from West Bengal, which is one of the states in India. And it's created by minstrels who go from village to village. And this is telling a story. I can't remember what, exactly what the story is, but they would sing it as a way of... Um, conveying the story to people who are illiterate and they've got these pictures uh, all the way down and when I purchased this like some, someone actually sang it to me and it was really beautiful but what I'd like you to look at just for today's part of our project is is the border and we've got this stripe big long one down the sides and these smaller ones across so we're going to start off our project by just doing the borders so if you've got some paper, you can 
divide it up into some strips maybe, it's up to you, but we were doing things that are maybe four or five centimetres wide. And I was using, uh, at Casa we could use the right uh, cartridge paper. But you may not have cartridge paper. Use anything that you can find. Photocopy paper, newspaper, whatever. So when we were doing the cartridge paper, we had them, yeah, like about that, that sort of size. I think what we did was we folded the paper in half, in half, in half, in half, until we got to the size that we wanted. So this is what I mean, you know, fold the paper over. If you want the edges to be straight, just make sure these edges line up. Then you know you think it'll be straight. Really crisp fold. So you can use a pad or something just to make that edge really nice and sharp. Personally, I prefer to tear the paper. I find scissors make things a little bit uh, jagged. So keep your finger near the top and just very gently pull the paper apart. If you go slowly, it should tear fairly easily, as you can see. And I'm doing it quite slowly. That's a little bit big for the border. So what we were doing is folding them in half. Um, like okay, just making a nice sharp fold. Tear that. pictures uh, on, on this video of some of the images of work that we did in other cars or groups so you can see where we're headed with this project so that that's um, that might be a little bit wide but you know you have to choose for yourself what's going to suit you for your design so you can fold it in half again um, that's a bit tricky when they're small we're going to be sticking these down onto a bigger piece of paper, so it doesn't matter if they get a bit uh, crumpled up along the way. The smaller they get, the, you know, just the trickier they are to uh, tear sometimes. So you just go slowly, and if it tears, you know, don't panic, just get another one or stick down one that's got a bit of a wobbly edge. Try not to get caught up in you know, that perfection thing. Just let, uh, let, let your creativity roam and, you know, as I said before, let's just try and make do with what we've got and have fun. That's really the most important thing, is just to do something that's enjoyable for you. So this is quite a good size. I think that's quite a nice size strip. Look, I've been using white paper, but I just found here some other colours. You know, you could do borders with small with colours, and I found uh, I had some some blue there and yellow here. So, you know, having a nice colour background to, to start your design off could be a, a good place because then you're not doing that artist uh, thing of oh, what am I going to do on my blank piece of paper? So. So what we're going to do now, or what you're going to do, is you're going to spend a little bit of time working out some designs for your picture. So we're going to do some long ones, and we're going to need quite a lot. And you'll probably find by just doing these patterns uh, that, you know, it's actually quite mesmerising and relaxing just doing them. So we're going to do some for the outside edge, and then some for the bars that go across. So the next step is for you to do your borders and depending on what materials you have is what kind of border you're going to create. So you can use something like uh, watercolours. The, uh, these are just a little set that uh, they're kind of a kid set and I picked up somewhere along the line. You could paint them in acrylic paints. Uh, those of you that have been on our art groups will know these, they're the chromacryl. 
and you might already have some of those at home. You can use things like a, a marker pen or a fine liner or grey leads. You know, I'm sure you can find something to do and if worst comes to the worst, those of you that have got kids, you could possibly go and raid their art bag, you know, send them home from school. So have, spend a little bit of time um, thinking about what your passions are going to be. Try things out. If you don't like it, you can try another one. So we might like to think about what, what, what a pattern is or what a border consists of. And you can think about it as a repetitive, uh, something that's repeating. So that, that repetition could be something like orange, red, orange, red, orange, red, yellow, or something like that that just continues. Or it could be something like uh, line, line, square. Line, line, circle, line, line, square, line, line, circle. So it's got that repetition. Or you could go to something like this that has that flowing line through it and this um, little flowery kind of thing. They're kind of fun to make up your own pattern and, um, and they're also quite mesmerizing. So if you're feeling a little bit anxious or uncertain, then it's a way to just get into a kind of a zone. So just to reiterate, what we're focusing on this week is just the border. And next week, we'll be thinking about the life stories. And, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how you can include some of your life story in your artwork. But focus on what we can do here and now, what you've got as a resource, you know, the things that you can just call to hand that are right there in front of you that you can use. Clear yourself a little bit of space on the table or the floor or wherever you can find a little nook. Put on some nice music or an audio book and um, just get to it and I'm going to be really keen to see what you do. Just post some pictures and put them up in the Facebook page and let's all share them. Okay? So have a good week until I see you next.